Aguten Erev Shabbos, my dear friend, Parshas Chayei Sava. First of all, reminder, make sure to light the candles early. They change the clock, so here in Brooklyn, we light at 4.25. This week, we are having the Kines HaShluchim, the International Convention of the Shluchim of the Rebbe from all around the world. We get together in this difficult time. And people ask, the Shluchim, they come with stories from everywhere. People ask them, what is the Rebbe saying? What would the Rebbe say about this situation? And last night we were sitting with thousands of Shluchim and I showed the video of the Rebbe from 1967 after the Six Day War. And the Rebbe said that we need to learn from our enemies. They all united together, those nations that were fighting with each other. But when it came to attack the Jews, they united. We need to do the same thing, to unite between us. And that will be the spiritual fight to answer. When we are united, this is when we get all of the brachas. Today, we have, around the world, we see also this phenomena. You have all kinds of people that have very little in common between them. But when it comes to attack Jews, unfortunately, we see them get together. And the answer is that we need to unite together. And we see this awakening ever since this terrible tragedy, this terrible massacre happened on October 7. We see the awakening of Jewish people from all over. It was, uh, there was one soldier that said he started keeping Shabbos and he said he's going to bring, write a book of all of the miracles that we see from those survivors. And I heard a personal story also from my brother. He's a shliach in Kiyat Akron, Rabbi Meir Cohen in Israel. And one of the people in his town, he moved to the kibbutz nearby the Gaza border. And he had an apartment. And a few a couple of months ago, he decided to move from one apartment to the other. And he moved his entire apartment to the other apartment, but he, he left one bed. And then this Shabbos morning, he decided to go and take the bed. And when he went to the new apartment, the old apartment that had only the bed left, he heard a siren and he heard the shooting and he went hiding under the bed. And then the Arabs, the terrorists, they came into the apartment. They saw an empty apartment, so they left. And then they came back, and they were there. They looked, and they were talking, and they sat on the bed that he was sitting, lying underneath. He was lying there for eight hours. And Baruch Hashem, he survived. He didn't, he didn't look under the bed. So Hashem made them to leave one bed. You see the miracles like this, there's miracles happening. Many, many stories like this. And not only that, we see the awakening. People are searching, people are looking, people are not affiliated, they want to become more affiliated. We have uh, here in Sheepset Bay, uh, there's an apartment building with many Jewish people live there. Many of them are not affiliated, they don't come to shul, but this Shabbos they decided they want to have a Shabbos meal together for the first time. So we see this, it is the shofar Godel, the sounding of the shofar that Hashem makes it sound to awaken us. And with our unity, with our awakening, and with our determination to go and, and let this voice within us let us let it express itself and explore more yiddishkeit and more godliness this will bring us all together and may we have the coming of mashiach very soon amen all the best of our wonderful shabbos